for this demo, we are going to migrate one SaaS project, which is called dab.co, an amazing short link, a utility built by Stamante, a former Versal employee, that it's completely open source. So you can actually go into GitHub and check out all the source code and deploy it yourself. They even have some documentation on how to set it up yourself locally if you need to. And mainly the, the tech stack that they are uh, currently using, it's uh, Tinybird for uh, the Glee House database. They're also using AppStash for Redis database. They have planet scale for their MySQL database, which we are going to replace with SATA for a Postgres database. They use GitHub Cloud for the logging and also Google and single sign-on through Jackson. They have Postmark to, to send emails and Polinary, Ansplash, etc. I have already followed these instructions to create the necessary credentials for, for the demo because we are not going to showcase how to create a Clay House database right now. But everything is set up except for the database, which we are going to replace. Let me start the stopwatch to see how much time we are able to actually migrate from planet scale MySQL to SATA password. Uh, as you can see, my workspace in SATA is completely empty. I have created a new dab.co workspace. And let's create a new database called dab. And look at it in North Virginia. I'm enabling the new beta feature for direct access to Postgres, which we are uh, going to use. And as you can see, we have just created one empty database. There's nothing in your schema, etc. Let's go into code. Here I have checked out the, the, the repo. I have installed the dependencies because it takes a while. And uh, as you can see uh, in my Git log, I'm actually on main with uh, the latest changes that uh, were located in, in the repo. No other changes have been made to the code. So let's remove, first of all, the doc site because we are not going to check it out. And inside the web app, we need to figure out Okay, what needs to be changed? First of all, let me connect it to the SATA. So I'm going to the apps web package and I'm going to run my CLI with the next stack. So the, the newest version for the beta. And let's say that I want to connect to SATA. So it's telling me, hey, do you want to generate some types of code? It's also detecting the, the workspace I was working. It's my default. And I want to create my CTLTS file under lib, which is, if you see, all the different connectors with external services are living under lib. So let's create it. Okay, yeah, I'm using PMPM. I want to install the, the client. It's actually telling me, hey, you have already added the SATA API key. Yeah, I know. Uh, I created it myself. Yeah. After this step, now we will have SATA TS file here, the SATA SDK installed it. If we go to the Prisma file, we will just let it work behind the scenes. You can notice that for Prisma, the, the good thing about Prisma is that it works with different database providers. So we can actually change it with one line of code to a different provider. Let's migrate to Postgres SQL because we want to use Postgres instead of MySQL. And we will need to adapt a little bit the, the scheme. Uh, first of all, let's remove full text index, which is not supported by Postgres currently in Prisma. And also remove the index that we have for it. Other changes is that, yeah, a long dex, it's not recognized as a type in Postgres, but instead we can rename it to text which will work just fine. And the limitation that we currently have in the beta, but will be solved very soon, is that enums are not currently working with uh, Postgres. So let's rename the role enum into a string, set it up to map. And with all these changes, uh, I think everything, it's uh, set up for Prisma to work with state. So now, as you can see, we already finish the, the process to initialize in SATA. We can see the, the empty uh, code here. It's connecting to our workspace in uh, the database that we had, creating the SATA client. Everything is prepared for us. So let's run Prisma to handle the migrations. Prisma, dingy push. And now 
reason why it's creating all the different tables in theta that we have defined here in our scheme. So we have user account token, verification token, etc. And now if we switch tabs, we can see that, hey, a lot of tables are appearing here. Account, link, project, user, the same ones that we had defined in our schema of Prism. It has already finished. And since we want to use them completely with SETA, we see here, notice, hey, these tables are not created by SETA. They were created by someone else. You want to adapt them to, to work with the UI and the SDK, etc. Yeah, sure. So we click one time and now all the tables are being migrated and creating internal fields like SETA underscore AB, et cetera. And we can see the complex schema that currently lives for that. Cool. Now that we have migrated Prisma, what else do we need to migrate? We see here a very suspicious file called Planet Scale. Let's see what they are doing here. And yeah, of course, they are not only using uh, Prisma, they are also connecting from the edge through the Planet Scale SDK. So this is a direct dependency with Planet Scale. Okay. Let's remove it and convert it to, to save it. So let's import the CTA client from our newly created CTA file. And instead of going to all the different places where they are calling SQL, we're going to rewrite it in the something similar that mimics what the uh, planet scale as the gate look like. So we have uh, execute uh, with a statement and some params which is an array of things. We don't care about them. And this will actually call our Theta SDK. So we will return some records from Theta. Oh yeah, I have an initialized Theta. So on Theta equals mean Theta client from there. Now I have some autocomplete. If I want to use the API, I would have here all my interfaces, but I'm going to use SQL because of it. this is what they were uh, using. Yeah, a statement. This is returning. Let's wait it. Some records. This is a sync operation. And if we check, they are returning rows. Rows. And now we have migrated completely the at runtime or planet scale with the HTTP endpoint or uh, SATA. And finally, what we also need to update is a single sign-on on all the OAuth part for handling the connection details. It also doesn't go through Prisma. It goes directly from Jackson, which is a library for, for handling that. And of course, they also offer the fairness strategies. Let's switch the SQL part. And instead of my SQL, we are going to switch Postgres. And since we already ran all the migrations and I want to go a little bit quicker, I will say that, yeah, manual migrations have happened. You don't need to migrate. And with all of this, we should have everything set to run it local. Just to review the changes, we removed the doc site, which we don't need right now. We have updated the schema from Prisma. We have created the connection details for the SDK, updated the connection via HTTP to the SQL, and updated the JSON single sign-on. So with all of this, we should be able to run PNP on that and see if it runs locally. And hopefully, we'll have everything uh, ready to, to try it out. Okay, perfect. So now that it has loaded, I have cleaned my cookies so that I'm not no longer signed in with my demo. And I will say, yeah, I'm going to use a GitHub provider. So this is going now to GitHub, changing my credentials. I have my session open, so it's not asking me to validate. And hey, yeah, we are locked in. Let's click on Get Started. Let's create a new project. I don't have a domain. I want you to send me a... This is a test. Which this is the best to Slack in project. And now no, I don't want to be, I don't even have a Stripe set up. And now we can see that we have initialized everything. That.co is working locally. 
it's going a little bit slow, but I don't think that's my fault. And if we go to the schema, and actually we go to the project table, hey, we now have one project. This was empty before. We have that this is a test project. It's a part of the free plan. And we can even change uh, things in, in the database. Don't do this on global action. But let's say that we change the slack. And now this is a test, it's this is a test. So we refresh and, oh, project not found. But if I change the slot to this is a test, hey, now it's working again. Oh, yeah. As you can see, everything is connected just under the 10 minute mark. And uh, yeah, it has not been painful at all to migrate from plan to scale my SQL to say top passwords. I hope you liked the demo. This is just some of the amazing things that you can build with Zeta.